back to perfectly wonderful day today we're going to be reacting to the vampire diary season 5 episode 12 so without further ado let's dive into reaction guess who hmm i wonder elena gilbert yep you this wrong buddy <laughs> While you guys were all playing drinking games, toasting to what a horrible person I am, I was plotting a way to passenger myself into Elena's cute little head. Oh my god. Anyway, I need a crash course on all things Elena Gilbert. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Did he think he had say in it? I feel like this is gonna annoy me. Because, I mean, I spent the whole last episode crying over Catherine, feeling sorry for Catherine, Loving the fact that she finally got peace of mind, like she finally kind of redeemed herself, and it's all went for nothing. I'm beating myself for the fact that I thought for just a second <laughs> that Catherine is actually gonna let herself die in peace like this. She really played me. Now let's talk honestly about the red thing that's happening in my hair. She did it in New York right after she shut her humanity off. But her humanity's back now. Perfect. It's gone. <laughs> what do I like better, Bonnie or Caroline? Please say Caroline. You love them both equally. Well, that's a shocker. Please say Caroline? Damon Salvatore is leaving me voicemails. Damon? Remind me again how this is better than being dead. Because once Mia does her spell, Elena will be gone forever. Oh, fuck you. It's funny. Catherine's rotting corpse was taking up the house. I got rid of it. Could be a bit of a problem. Oh, and why's that? Because I'm here for Catherine's body. We had a luck. You ain't getting it. Not as known away. It's like Damon feels deep down that there's something wrong and then that he needs to not give her Catherine's body. Yeah, Damon, stick to this point. The nicest thing that Catherine Pierce will ever do is feeding the maggots that feast on her flesh. Give it up. You're not getting it. Yes, back. Damon, yes. <laughs> funny, funny that Tyler is back and the same day Caroline had sex with Klaus. Isn't that so convenient? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thinking about Klaus is written all over her face, like literally. Is she doing this? Forget about the fact that she had sex with him. Oh my god! And I really wish I have even a little bit of her energy to get stuff done like this. She's really making me want to clean the whole house and make it sparkle. Are you cleaning the fireplace? Yeah. <laughs> you know, all those carcinogens. I do that. <laughs> I'm stress cleaning. I do I'm that. Stressed. So I'm cleaning. Boy drama. That, that you care. I, are you telling me that Klaus is your boy drama? Oh my god, oh my heart. It's no more vampire experiments. Yeah, it's over. And can you just you tell me that I'm sorry? Aww. I'm really sorry. Nice guy. How would you like to be judged solely based on who you're attracted to? Why? Do you know something? <laughs> Why? Should I know something? <laughs> oh my god, they are the cutest thing ever. I actually think that Elena is good for Damon. Aww. She makes him happy. And we all know that when Damon is happy... And he's not out there killing people. Which I guess is a plus for mankind. <laughs> exactly. Yeah? Well, where the hell is she? One thing, Catherine didn't go through Bonnie, so that should set off an alarm, like, come on. She's not gonna have an idea about what's happening to her, will she? Hang on. Oh, that's not good. Catherine. Oh, 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 she knows. Yes, 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 yes. Who invited you? Scram. <laughs> this little thing that he did with his hand is so cute. Caroline agreed to help you get Elena back. <laughs> you? you once told me that calling me Satan was an insult to Satan. Are you going to Tyler's party? It's a wonder that this thing still has a battery. They're getting suspicious. <sighs> yeah. We need to find your body. That's your lame way of asking if I invited Caroline. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, oh boy. Coming. 
So when you say you're starting over, you're basically saying you want Caroline back. You still didn't get to have children. You brought me Aaron Whitmore. So, do you want to kill him? But he cut off the, the trust fund. There's no experiments. He's a good guy. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. So, so she's Catherine. She's, she's gonna hit on, on Stefan and totally ignore Damon. Oh my god. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. So, so bad. You always notice when it's Catherine. Please notice. God, this is this is giving me anxiety. Hang on, isn't this a little weird for you? It's incredibly weird, but uh, I know my brother, and I know he's a better person with you than without you. I love Stefan. So how are you? You don't have to hide your feelings. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not really, uh... Ouch. We had a thing, it ended, and she died, and I'm fine. Do you ask all of your friends to prove their loyalty by killing someone over drinks? His grandfather slit our eyes open with a scalpel. His grandfather! I've taken out everyone else in the Whitmore family. I thought you'd want this. Would you believe he's a friend of a friend? No. Go back to college and pack up your entire life. There's one highway that heads out of town. Take it north till you've hit ice. Don't ever come back. So I thought, oh, we'll just make out. But then I felt... Good to kiss him, so then I kind of totally Klaus. Oh wow. Wow, really? Catherine is so shook. Just like are you talking about the same person that was willing to blood sacrifice me, slaughtered my whole family, and hunted me for 500 years? Are you talking about the same person? <laughs> Actually, you're one of the least awful people I know. This is Catherine being genuine. Alina Gilbert. Caroline Forbes, come on, spill the beans. I can... <laughs> now that you've slept with Klaus, I mean, how was it? Oh, shit. Like, how did he go back to Mystic Falls in the same freaking day? God, oh my god, this is gonna, oh, this is gonna turn up so badly, you guys. I thought Catherine liked Caroline, like, she was before, like, with Matt, please tell me Elena is more close to Caroline than Bonnie, and, like, here, like, genuinely tell her that you're the least awful person that I know. And just like this, next second she's screwing her life. What the hell? Improvise, improvise, improvise. Elena, pretend that you're Catherine. Come on. Oh, this is giving me freaking anxiety. Uh, Caroline, it's the best to not talk to him right now. Just let me explain. Have... No, let me. He killed my mom. Just go, just go, just go, Caroline. I said leave! Oh my god, he's gonna work for her. What's the matter with you? Oh, you don't know? She screwed Klaus. Stefan, don't judge. You know, drunk or not, she doesn't deserve it. Oh yeah. I understand, like, I know, like, if it wasn't Klaus, he has no right to tell her something. But since, because they broke up, like, he walked out, I know it was for good reasons. He chose his dignity. He chose his mom. He chose uh, his back. He chose other things. But since it's Klaus, since it's you know the the one that destroyed his life, and since she he's still in love with her, so I I understand. But I mean I loved Stefan this scene. It shows how fiercely he cares about her and then how he had her back just as much as she had his. Tyler had every reason to be upset if he was throwing things and yelling, I wouldn't have a problem, but he was about to all fat on her, which is, you know, dangerous. You need to kill the witch. You need to kill the witch. She didn't kill the witch, oh my God. Damn it, she's so nice. Fuck, she changed the password. This is why you need to get a phone with face ID. <laughs> Shaving was a red magnet. She should have called 
The freaking witch. Catherine, get out of my head. I will love you forever. Damon. Damon. Yeah. So the first thing that comes out of your mind is Catherine is in my head. Oh, thank God. Elena. Elena. <laughs> if I were in her place, I'm not, I'm not gonna call Damon. I'm like. The first thing I'm gonna do after seeing him, I'll be like, Damon, why not run? And I'll be like, Damon, Catherine is in my freaking head. Like, come on. This is. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh, oh the way he's are you okay? Oh, oh, why is his voice is so soft? Say something, please. He's freaking gonna get his heart broken. Oh my god, I just have a feeling. Elena, uh, Catherine, don't you freaking dare. You? Are the best influence on me. Oh, it's nice. Don't screw it up. Don't I'm screw it up. up. I don't want to worry about what's going to happen every time we get into a fight or if we break up again or who you're going to take it out on. About the person that I can't change. Fuck! The person that you really are. Oh my god. Don't. No, 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 I'm sorry, Damon. It's over. Fuck you, Catherine. Come on. Oh my god. You gotta be enjoying this a little bit. No, 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 no. He's not, he's not, he's not. The girl I love slept with my nemesis, and I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do with the rest of my life. Which, get this. Lasts forever. I do feel But forever. I got a big ass house. Wow, everyone is messed up in this show. Tomorrow? Cold, manipulative, good hair. You really are my daughter. If that's your way of thanking me, save it for the road. It's not gonna go. I'm not going anywhere. Let me guess. She's gonna try to be close to Stephanie, you know? She's gonna notice, like, if she's spending time with, you know, uh, Nadia. It, it, Bonnie, like she didn't cross, she didn't go through Bonnie. Like this is uh, that didn't set up an alarm. Like um, it's hard to believe. Like come on. When you found out about me and Catherine, what was your first thought? Oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, I thought you. See, and if you held that against me, you wouldn't be sitting here right now with me. With you. He slept with Catherine while he, she killed Catherine. Like, so, this doesn't count. Like, being attracted to someone, like having sex with someone, like that, you know, is bad and did other terrible things to, you know, the people that you care about. It's not like a gonna be like a huge turning point to her character. No, it's, it happens in TBD. Like, you know what I mean? All right, somebody has to say it. So, here goes. You ready? Mm -hmm. Caroline, mm -hmm. you are a horrible person. Okay? <laughs> you, are, you are thoughtless, you're shallow, you're completely <laughs> undependable. Right? Oh, this is so cute. Vulnerable. Don't be mean. You know what? Now that I think about it, I have no idea what Klaus saw in you. <laughs> what was he thinking? That was so cute. What's their sh I don't know the ship name. Caroline Stefan. Stefan. No. Stefan Caroline. Stefan Caroline Stefan. I'm so bad with shit names. Just tell me. Are you alright? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. How many times are they gonna fall for that lying down on the street and pretending to be her trick? Ah, oh, Damon. Oh, it was Enzo. You said that you were gonna let me go. I did. I tried. Nah, I just figured it was about time to end with more family balayan. Uh, I tore them apart. I liked the sounds they made. Because I realized they deserved it. <laughs> Why do I feel like uh, I miss David being the bad guy? Like, I, I kind of miss this side of him. Like, uh... Like you. It feels like this is my guilty pleasure. 
seen Damon being the bad guy. Elena thinks I'm a monster. You know what? Oh, that's the Damon Salvatore I remember. I have mixed feelings about this scene. As much as I so feel sympathy for Aaron, like he didn't deserve to die, man, Damon was so cool in this scene. <laughs> God, can't deny the fact that he was so cool. Like he looked so cool. Like the vampire face, he looked so cool. Uh, so let's talk about the breakup scene to justify this last scene. The, break, the breakup scene just really broke my heart because Damon was always so insecure about him deserving Elena. And now that he thinks that Elena said that, the thing is, Elena said, uh, Katja said that it was a lot of pressure to make him a better person. But he never put that pressure on Elena's shoulders. And Elena, she never asked him to change. Especially after like falling in love with him as he is, the good with the bad. Yes, she believed that he could be a bad person and he came through. So it was like a slap in his face. To hear those words after everything they've been through. The fact that Elena and Damon would have gone back together if Catherine didn't take Elena's body is driving me nuts. And for the last scene, it's not it's not it's not like Elena and I are not together, so I'm like gonna you know, so I'm like gonna lash out. It's not it's not about that. He did lash out after getting hurt a lot of times in the past. But this one for me is different. Yes, Damon had a habit to lashing out and you know, killing people when he's hurt. But for me, this is different. He's more like, he's, he's, he's now more like, well, the person whose opinion mattered to me the most doesn't even believe that I can be a, that I can be a good person or worth saving. So let me prove everyone that they're right. He was already a low point mentally. And now it ends around just reminding him every single minute that this is not him, that he's never gonna change, that he's always gonna be that Damon Salvatore that he knew before. He's gonna get even more lower now. Pushing people around and proving that he's the monster that everyone think he is. So this is what I got from this scene. And not just him lashing out after Elena broke up with him. So yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you know my reaction. See you in next video.